Let's start with the first disclaimer for this video. This is for my usual watchers, which uh, they like to read only titles of books or only read titles of videos. And they think they've learned everything about the video, about my thoughts. This is for you. All my videos are positive when it comes to Pi Network and I'm a big promoter of Pi Network. Um, and I can't find anything negative to share about them. Yes, I'm being realistic. Yes, everything that I talk and I research is from a realistic perspective and I need facts in order to back up a few of the statements that I see out there. But no, I'm not trying to plant any negativity or anything bad about the network. So this video is also going to be something very positive about the network and some advices for all the users probably on the Pi network. So stay with me and see what I've got to say today. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Flo. If you're new here, consider subscribing and smashing the like button of this video at the end of the video in case you don't want to do it now. Uh, you can still do it. If not, do it at the end and hopefully you'll find this, uh, this video useful for you and why not with the people that you're going to share the video with. Very important to know all my videos that I have on my channels are not financial advice and now I will not give advices with anyone's money and if you want to invest or do whatever I do on my channel, make sure you do it from your own heart and your own due diligence and research. Now that we got those out of the way, let's talk about what will be my biggest disappointment and what would be your biggest disappointment and probably so many other users of the Pi Network. Probably if I look through the history of my friends that used to text me in the past, dude, uh, you should probably convert your gaming computer into mining Bitcoin and this happened years ago I used to play a lot of uh, lots of games and I used to have a decent PC and a GPU Which will probably mine decent amount of bitcoins back then in the day um, obviously I did not believe in that and I decided to carry on wasting nights and days playing all sorts of games which probably I enjoyed at that time um, I'm still playing from time to time, not too much anymore, I ain't got time for that to be honest. But I've kind of lost that train and somehow I feel like in terms of how destructive this technology is in terms of blockchain and um, the way Pi Network is, is building the algorithm for mining, if you can call it mining, considering you don't waste so much energy and uh, pay so much for, for the hardware. Uh, in order for you to get some coins. Yeah, I don't want to lose this train anymore. And just think from, from 14th of March uh, 2019, how many people decided to start mining with uh, Pi Network and all of a the sudden they decided to stop because they lost interest. It's a long journey since 2019 up till 2020. Uh, it's a long journey and having to go in the app every day, uh, just think about how many phones people changed since 2019 because uh, we are millennials, probably most of us, uh, which are on the Pi Network apps. You lose your account, you think that probably the wallet that you've made, you lost the words and you're not gonna get it anymore. Um, yeah, probably out of those 35, plus probably already millions of users. So many people lost their wallets, lost their accounts, changed the phones, lost the faith in the in the network, uh, lost the appetite of going in the app every single day and clicking one button. And they don't see how, how things are going to materialize. So then at some point, uh, those numbers that they have in their phones, in their wallets are going to actually mean something in terms of money. Let's try to be realistic. Everybody wants to go in the Pi network. So then probably one day they're going to make some money out of the network. Um, that's, that's the truth, to be honest. And uh, so many people are thinking that maybe this Pi network is something that they're going to change their lives. And I hope it will, to be honest. If you believe enough in something, probably it will happen one day. Uh, why not? Um, but try to be realistic. I still believe that probably on the long run, Pi Network is going to be worth more than probably um, lots of zeros. Um, but till then we have to wait, we have to build, we have to keep the patience, we have to keep the faith up. But now we are closer than we have been before, to be honest. Uh, according to an image, you can see an image on my screen now, uh, which I found, and I'm not sure if it's true or not, but according to their new updates on the 20th, which is tomorrow, they're going to start migrating people which pass the KYC 
ticked all the boxes in the mainnet checklist and they're ready to migrate some of their coins into the main wallet. This is a big tick in the uh, timeline that they have projected for, for launching the uh, mainnet and everything else and things you can see them starting to, uh, to build up and you can see that meat growing on the bones and probably we'll soon see this big monster waking up and doing all sorts of interesting things. Uh, I'm up for that. If you still doubt that, go in all the other videos that I've made on Pi Network and then just um, try to put a realistic mind on and uh, listen to what I've got to say on all the other videos about it, okay? My biggest disappointment, it will be to see my friends and very close family uh, of my referrals, which they lost the faith in the, in the Pi Network because probably they're not as passionate as you if you clicked on this video or not as passionate as me when it comes to web3 decentralized pi network and all sorts of that crazy world of finance uh, cryptocurrencies everything that else that happens behind that um, they're not probably as passionate as that probably your parents or your grandma is not going to be very interested in what is going to happen but you still decided to make an account for them uh, so then you can increase your mining rate um, Probably lots of people lost their interest on the way and they kind of lost their path. But probably it's time for you to bring them back on that path because things are going to start moving. But I hate to say that a huge percentage of the Pi coins which I've got in, uh, in my app came from the referrals. And in case your referrals are not going to pass their KYC, probably you'll never get those coins. Uh, reason why I believe that even though there's a huge, huge amount of coins uh, to be mined. I don't think we're going to see a huge amount of coin being migrated to the main wallet. Uh, I've seen the demo or the amount of coins already moved in the mainnet. So for the amount of, of how many coins on the breakout of, of percentages that are allocated to all sorts of different uh, bits. You can find it in the white paper. Obviously, they're going to carry on uh, sending the coins to the uh, wallets, your main wallet, my main wallet, when this is going to be ready and this is going to be migrated on the, on the mainnet. Um, guys, this is a big, big step forward and I can't wait to see my coins inside of my wallet. But why not try to get all that amount of coins that you have in your wallet uh, and in order for you to do that is probably you have to sharpen your teeth, get sued up, find your best words to go back and convince your referrals, your family, friends uh, to get back into the app and get back into the mining, <laughs> mining mode. Because in case you don't do that, in case they don't pass the KYC, probably you'll live with the disappointment of not having all the coins that you've got in your wallet migrated to the main wallet depending obviously on how much you decided to uh, to lock up but now you want to share something with uh, with your families and your friends and it has to be very easy so i'm going to share a few steps that they have to go through in order for them to get back on track and in order for them to get uh, into that readiness of kyc awaiting kyc and being able to start migrating to the mainnet so then you can get your coins back so this is for my friends and this is for my family and this is obviously for all the family that i've got there and make sure you share this video with uh, with people i try to make an anchor directly to this to this point so then you can share the video from this uh, moment on in case they don't want to watch it all um, so if you lost faith in pi network and you are the prodigal son which decided to run away from the pi network uh, it's time for you to come back because we are so so close to get into motion and get into the mainnet and we're ready to start putting some meat on the bones that uh, the pi network people started creating years ago guys it's time for you to uh, get real start mining again and you have to go through a few steps to ensure you're ready and ensure that you're ready to migrate to the mainnet. So first of all, go in the app. In case you don't have the app, make sure you download it again. Make sure you remember your login credentials and get back into the app and start mining every 24 hours because this is very important. You still got a chance to get some money into your pocket. It might not be money in one year, but it might be money in 10 years. Uh, it can be money in 10 years, no matter how many coins you are, you still got a few coins. So why not move them into the mainnet? So then even if you decide to not mine anymore, you'll still have a few coins, which will be worth something. I 
Trust me when I tell you that, okay? So get the app back, start mining again. Two, ensure your name is correct in the app, ensure you verify and go through all the security that you find here in the app. Um, it's very important for you to ensure that you've got your real name on and it'll be the same name as your identity or the ID documents that you're going to use in the KYC stage. Three, download the browser. Uh, very easy, again, go here and find the Pi browser. It'll get you to the store in which you can download the app for free and then obviously close the app, the Pi browser after you install it, go back into the Pi Network app, go back into the Pi browser so then it can link and it's logging in very easily. If you don't have a wallet, it's time for you to make your first wallet. Make sure you save all your phrase words very safely because as soon as we migrate to the main net and your wallet address is going to migrate to the main net, I'm afraid there's no chance for you to recover it. Uh, so make sure you save it somewhere. Uh, enable Face ID or enable different other ways of, of getting into the wallet after you save your phrase uh, words and generate yourself the wallet, which is going to be the wallet address that you're going to use in the main net. Number five, in case you did not uh, got into the configuration for the lockups uh, it'll probably be done automatically but it's a way and in case you're new to this it's a way for you to kind of stake your coins um, it's a new thing in the cryptocurrency world um, they call it lockups but the way it works instead of, of them kind of rewarding you with all sorts of different coins for staking uh, they're just going to increase your mining rate depending on uh, how much you're going to lock up and for whatever period you want to. Obviously, the more you lock up and the uh, longer the period of the lockups is going to increase your mining rate. Uh, you can see how much I lock it up for and you can see the percentage of how much I'm earning more every single hour because I'm decided to lock 50% uh, of my coins for the period of the years that you see here. And number six, and this is, I think, very important uh, because I was waiting for, for my KYC application to get into the app, but I never received it. And then one day after I moaned that it's taking too long, I moaned to my family on YouTube, obviously. Uh, next day, I decided to go into the Pi browser, click on the KYC, and like instantly, I got the invite for KYC, I submitted all my documents and somebody was like just probably waiting to validate something new and they decided to validate me instantly uh, in UK. I'm not sure, there's so many people talking about submitting KYC applications and still waiting for, uh, for their approvals. Um, I left a community message, uh, you can check that on my YouTube channel. Maybe you'll find um, those ideas very useful in case you're one of those guys who submitted the QIC application but are still waiting for, for their approval. Guys, these are just very easy steps for you to get back on the line. Um, but very important, get that back up uh, and start mining again and then pass the KYC so then me and my friends who sent you this video, they can start uh, mining again. So then we can mine with a higher rate and obviously all the coins that we mined through referrals, we can benefit from having them onto our, our mainnet wallets because in case you don't pass the KYC, in case you're my referral, I'm not going to benefit anything from having used my referral guys let's not get through that bitcoin disappointment that so many people and including me been through uh, let's hope that in case you've been on the journey of mining pi network you carry on doing it it doesn't cost you anything and absurdly in case this is going to end up being nothing you've lost nothing um, obviously you lost nothing because you don't have to invest anything maybe just some of your time which is not a lot come on it doesn't take you anything to click that button every single day you don't have to watch an ad you can untick the box in which you allow them to uh, share ads with you um, it doesn't cost you anything so instead of you going through a massive disappointment and obviously us who believed in you and invited you on the network to be our referrals uh, having to go to disappointment and not being able to get used of all those pie coins that we've got in the test net. 
So make sure you get back on the line, okay? So now, if you're at that stage in which you think that you found this video useful, smash that like button so then so many other people can uh, can actually get exposed to this one. Um, I think it's very important for, for us to uh, get use of those coins that we've mined and get use of the coins that we've mined through our referrals. Uh, but not just that. Um, I share this with... Uh, Probably before I shared my link, I always suggest that you join through a referral of your friends or family, so then you are in a closer circle. Um, I wasn't keen on sharing Pi Network uh, referrals at the beginning with so many people because I can't control what is going to happen with that. But I'm sharing the information because I love my community and I hope that you'll find it useful so then so many other people are getting back in the app and they're going to benefit from the coins that they mined already. So thank you very much for, for watching this video and thank you very much for being part of my community and being part of my channel and, and keep on clicking on the videos that I post. And thank you to all the haters which think that I hate Pi Network. I don't hate Pi Network, guys. And I'm only trying to... Uh, still keep my feet on the ground and feel the earth beneath my feet uh, okay if i make videos which sound a bit dodgy it's because i'm trying to build a community and i'm not trying to uh, throw anything negative on the network and i'm not trying to attack anyone or trying to be uh, disrespectful with anyone i love you all and i'll always love anyone even if you if you think that my thoughts are bad or i'm having bad ideas about the network and i don't understand and i don't do enough research about it uh, i still love you keep looking after yourself and your families until next time stay safe